Morning kids, <coughs> excuse me, it's great to see you and uh, hope you're doing all right, a bit better than me hopefully. Now I wonder how many of you like board games or playing games um, and what's your favourite? Why don't you pause the video and have a little chat and then uh, come back once you've had a little chat. Okay, so some of us like board games, some people don't, but some of us do and, or, or games we can play together. Now, one of my favourite games is a board game called Ticket to Ride. It's all about building train lines and hopefully building the, the train lines, the routes you've been given, so you can gain points and get more points than your opponent. But here's a game that we play at home, and it's called this. It's called Shiba Inu House. It's Japanese, and it's quite fun. It's quite straightforward. And basically, the idea is you've got to build a, a house, a kennel, for the little Shiba dog. Okay, so what, what happens is, is you... You are, the, everybody's given the same uh, uh, house to build. So, if, for example, here's a card which tells you the, shows you the house you've got to build. So, you've got to find, you've got to build uh, a house with the dog facing the wrong way on a yellow roof with two uh, yellow parts to it, if that makes sense. So, you've got to build that. Now, what you do is you get given a number of cards like this, and you've got to look through these cards and try and build the house. So, I'll try and do it now. So, I need uh, the, the dog. Sitting, sitting down, facing away from me on a yellow roof. And I can't find, they're double-sided, it can take a long time. And the thing is you race against each other. Right, so there's the first one. I've got the first one, there it is. So now I need two bits for the bottom bit. I've got one already. And you race against time, you race against each other. And I, ah, oh, there we are. So, I think that's, oop. I think that is correct. I think I've built the house. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Showing you the, that went wrong, didn't it? Like that, yep. So you've built that. Okay, now the idea is you, you compete against other people and the first person to build the house properly reaches forward and grabs the dog bowl, which has a number one on it. Are you following this? Okay. and. You turn that over, that tells you how many points you get. You get five points. So if you're first, you get five points. If you're second, you get four points. If you're third, you get three points, etc., etc. The whole point is, is you're preparing and building a little house, a place for the little doggy. And that's how the game works. Why am I talking to you about a little strange Japanese game with cards? Well, simply this. In the Bible, Jesus, when he was talking to his disciples, told them that he was going to leave them. But he told them not to be troubled. He said that he was going to, he said that where his father is, that is in heaven in eternity, it's a house with many rooms or many houses, a massive place. And he said that when he went to leave them, going up to heaven, to go back with his father, to be back with his father, he was going to prepare a place for them. <coughs> Excuse me. And then he was going to come back and take them to be with him in this place to give them a place, a place to belong, a place to live forever. And that promises for us too. Jesus is currently, if we're trusting in him, preparing a place for us. And he, when he returns, he's going to take us to be in that place. And it will be finished. See, the problem with the Shiba Inu game is when someone, the first the point at which that person, first person makes the house, makes a little kennel, makes the place for the Shiba dog, um, they get the cut, they, 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 they pick the card etc. And at the end, ultimately, the last person who's last hasn't finished. Their place is unfinished, okay, um, and they lose. But Jesus is going to finish the place he's preparing for us. It's not going to be half finished. It's not going to be missing a roof or um, uh, only some of the walls are done. It'll be complete. It'll be done. It'll be perfect. And, you know, we live in houses, don't we? And hopefully they get finished, but they don't stay perfect, do they? You know, the, sometimes the windows break or, um, or the door locks go wrong or, or you get a, a leak. Well, the place which Jesus is preparing for us is brilliant. It's perfect. It'll last forever. And you're not relying on somebody, um, you know, racing against time trying to build a little kennel for a dog. Jesus is going to prepare a place completely for you and for me if I trust us in Jesus. So I hope you can understand that, is that when Jesus says he's going to prepare a place for us, 
It's not somewhere which is going to be half done or not really worth going to. It's going to be the best place ever. It's going to be completely finished and it's going to be worth seeing. So if we put our trust in Jesus, we can know for sure that that is what he's doing for us right now. Thanks for listening and get ready to sing our next song.